All right, welcome back to the Battle for the Ardennes Quad SPI 1978. <coughs> We're playing the Clairvaux scenario, um, and it is now Allied game turn, uh, seventh turn, or 18 December uh, AM. Um, big horde of reinforcements, but we're still <coughs> oh, about three turns away. So, let's go ahead and, uh, well, we do see the Panzer Lair just got up right here adjacent to Baston, but uh, the U.S. has dug in. Their other problem for the Germans is the 116th is coming off the board next turn per the special rules. So, and down here it pretty much looks like we're stagnating. So, let's go ahead and look at the sequence of play. Uh, supply, I think everybody's. <coughs> as far as I can tell, everybody appears to be in supply on both sides. So, no air power, we get to the building segment. <coughs> and this is for the U.S. These units are all adjacent to enemy units, so you can't build in Zoc, but, uh, you know, what the heck, I can go ahead and start building here. Maybe I'll decide to move them later. But if you're not moving, you're digging. So that's a good rule. Um, and then we'll drop it here. Okay, so that's that. Then we have the battery segment. And it is time for this guy to go out of battery. Eight points, two points, final protective in Baston, right? Then we've got mode adjustment. These guys are out. And this guy is out. Uh, let's make sure I didn't miss anybody else. Oh, this guy. And he's out. This guy... Three, four, five, six. I could drop him out, but I don't... He's probably going to reinforce somewhere, so... And he can't get anywhere on his own, so we'll just leave him. And I think that's all we have to worry about for U.S. mode segment. Um, and now we're in the movement segment. So I'm going to pause here and see what we're going to do. So actually the U.S. doesn't have a lot to move. Um, just looking here, the, the biggest thing is here we're going to have our first uh, actual U.S. counterattack. Because isolating this is just not good. So it looks like these armored units are going to, well, we see that this guy was able to, one, two, three, four, four, I think that's it. And then this guy was able to, um, that's one, two, three, four, but then that's five. And they'll be able to pile on this guy. Don't know if that was a good idea putting him there, but he does have a retreat route. And we've got the artillery too. Let's see what else happened here. Uh, well, yeah, we did move a 5-3 up from, yep, here he is. This guy went here to reinforce this. So now we're at 10, but then the 7-6 guy uh, in travel mode was able to, uh, CCB of the 10th was able to reinforce Baston, so we're still strong. And this guy is going to stay here because they can't get, one, two, nope, that costs two for infantry. They cannot get behind him, so he's going to stay there. And that's pretty much true for this guy, too. Not going to be able to blow the bridge. This guy could cross here, but still, they're not going to be able to get behind him. Not a behind him, not behind him. And then these guys, hopefully, are going to be able to finish their fortifications. We'll see if the Germans let them do it. So, that takes us to the U.S. combat phase. And there is one big attack, and we've got, uh, well, you can even use the engineers, 6, 12, 19, and then we can throw in 8 from this guy. 27 to 3, wow, that's pretty much off the scale. Um, that's 9 to 1. 
we do not have divisional integrity. So let's go ahead and see what we got. He's 9 to 1 in light forest. Light wood. So we're right here. There is a chance, 50% chance, he can be outright eliminated. Let's pull up our handy dandy dice roller here. Always comes in too big. So. Uh, and we want one die. I don't think if I can... Let's see. Yeah, it changed it. All right. So, 9 to 1. Light woods. 4. Well, dodged. Dodged it. 9 to 1 on... Uh, this is going all over the place. 9 to 1 light woods on 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Three steps. Um, that's pretty awesome. And then the U.S. actually has armor units here that could advance. Um, so they could go here. or that Well, they can't go here, so... They have to retreat here. And the U.S. armor will be able to advance one. So let's see what we're going to do. All right, the Germans <coughs> don't want to take a step loss, so it's two... Uh, or they could go here. Wait, they'd have to go here by the rules. And then they'd have to probably go here. So, there we go. We got three retreat, and then the U.S. can advance. The question is, do they want to? Um, the army units can go here, and then they can go one more, but then they're in Zoc. So, does that make sense to potentially expose yourselves? I think we'll be conservative here. They'll just go here, which is kind of going to tie up this guy. Even if he goes foot, he can only go here. Um, but he's still in supply, so Germans are going to have to decide what to do about this. Um, yeah, so that's it. That is the U.S. attack. So this guy is restored. That's what they were after. And these guys are leaving, so... This guy's kind of dangling here on the flank here, and, well, he does have a path to leave if he wanted. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, they could do that if they wanted. I don't think there's anything we can do to stop that. Nope. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, and then these will appear next turn, as long as the Germans don't move adjacent to it, I believe. So... Uh, that's a quick one. Eight minutes. Awesome. So the uh, U.S. position is solidifying. That's what I would say at this point. Uh, and the Germans have some work to do to both try and take Baston and get units off the board here. And I think this is where the rest of the action for the game is going to be. So anyway, if you like, click like. Comments appreciated. If I messed up on the rules, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Otherwise, we will see you back here for the German turn, and in this case it will be turn 8. And turn 9 they start rolling, they got a 1 out of 3 chance, one of their divisions will be out of supply on the attack. And then of course, here comes Patton, 4th armored, and a number of infantry divisions, I think. Yep. Alright, see you at the next one.